Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackie and I hope you're all having a great day today. I know my videos haven't been as frequent recently, but I've just had so much going on. First, the eyeball thing, which is thankfully almost back to normal. And now I got a procedure on my spine a couple days ago. I had to get three nerves burned in my spine. So I had to be like put out and everything for that. So I'm still like kind of loopy. I still feel like tired and stuff. So yeah, I'm a complete mess, but everything is starting to feel better now. So that's good. But yeah, once I'm completely all healed up from all this stuff, I'll go back to my normal posting schedule and get back on track. So sorry for everything being scattered, but we're almost through it and I will be back to normal very soon. But moving on from that. So in my last video, I unboxed a witchcraft mystery box I ordered like a month ago. And I ordered this at the same exact time I ordered the haunted item mystery box, but I completely forgot about it because it took so long to get here. So it was a surprise when it showed up at my PO box. Well, I kept seeing all these comments on that video saying, didn't you order two witchcraft mystery boxes? And I thought I, I couldn't, I didn't really remember, but I know one of them said that it was gonna be like a crazy long amount of time for shipping. So I thought I canceled it, but <laughs> yesterday I got a, notifi a notification that something had arrived at my PO box. So I go there to pick it up <laughs> you guys won't believe it, but it's another freaking witchcraft mystery box. So I brought it home, opened up the package. I'm like, what is this? And then once again, I took another little look in there. I'm like, I guess I did order two witchcraft mystery boxes and now they're both here. So today we're going to be unboxing the second witchcraft mystery box. Fun. I don't even... I don't even like witchcraft, but here we are. So in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing, unboxing this witchcraft mystery box. So let's get straight into it. So once again, just like the other one, it's like, I don't really, cons I didn't, I for sure didn't consider the last one witchcraft. It's more just like positivity, protection, manifestation, that type stuff. So I don't really know what's going to be in this one, but I went back and I looked and this one I ordered, it sounds pretty similar as in the way of not really like witchcraft, but manifestation, that type thing. So this is like harmless and fine. If it was dark magic, that's a completely different story. I will never get involved with that, but this one is harmless. So I guess let's just start opening it up. I brought it home yesterday peeked open, saw it had something to do with the witchcraft mystery box, and then I closed it and haven't looked at it since. So this is my first time I will be seeing any of this stuff in there. So I guess let's just start opening it up. So right away, that's what it looks like when I open it. And we have a note on top. Let's see what it says. Okay, so this, I don't want to look at any of this stuff. It's it lists everything that's in the box, so I just want to be surprised. But at the top it says success and prosperity witchy mystery box. So I guess I ordered a box of success and prosperity. So let's get straight into it. All right, first item I just pulled out. Oh, I'm sorry, there might be black paint. All there's like there's a lot of black paint stuck under my nails right now. I've been painting my surfboards and it will not come out. So it's not dirt, it's black paint. But the first thing we have is this little healing winter moon bath, artisan bath spell. So I guess let's just get our sheet right here. Um, okay, and it doesn't even say what this is used for, but I think I know. I'm pretty sure you just put it in your bathtub and soak in it. All right, so that is the first item. Now this second item is in this little bag. It looks like some sort of, what is this? It's a sticker. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Is it, 
I don't know if this is a joke or not. It says the bossy witch on it. Is that like a tarot card or something? The bossy witch? Someone let me know. I don't know if that's like legit or not, or if that's literally just like a sticker from their company. Okay. All right, the first real item. Oh. Manifest your dreams tea light. Magical Reiki charged tea lights promotes courage, happiness, spiritual power, topped with organic herbs and eco-friendly glitter. Scent, spiritual mixed berry. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess spiritual is a scent now, but this is what they look like. Here, I'll take them, I'll take one out so you can really see it. They look cool, that's for sure. Looks like there's like some sort of herbs or something in it. See, it's just like this little, there's glitter herbs. Let's see if this one's on our sheet. Okay, Reiki charge and mag magically dressed tea lights created to promote courage, spiritual power, and happiness. The perfect candle to burn when working on manifestation and partnering with meditation to find your proper path. Great for those searching for new beginning success and overall happiness. Sounds cool to me. It actually smells really good. It smells like um, strawberries. All right, so we got some little candles. What's next? Item number two. What is this? Um. <laughs> Okay, this is alfalfa. I didn't know alfalfa was like an herb. I thought it was a guy from um, Little Rascals or something. But anyway, it says alfalfa is traditionally used as an herb for prosperity and money. Prosperity and money gathering. And as proof against hunger due to lack of money. It is also connected to femin feminine energy, Venus, and Earth. Okay. Where my sheet go? Oh, here it is. One ounce of cut alfalfa ready for spell work, mojo bags, and rituals. And the last one, when I thought it was gonna be like some more stuff like this that you do spells with. So I have no idea how you use alfalfa in a spell. I don't know any spells in general, so that's that. But okay, we have a little tiny bag with Looks like a stone of some sort. Ooh. I think this is jade or something. Let's see what it is. Oh no, I'm wrong. It is green aventurine, the stone of opportunity for its knack at bringing opportunity and success to its owner. It enhances creativity and motivation, striving for you to complete your projects and goals. Green Aventurine is great for those looking to relieve stress and bring forward personal growth. It also believed to help prevent psychic vampires from stealing your energy and causing you to feel drained. That's exactly what I need. I actually like this. It's cool. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's like some lines and stuff running through it. But yeah, anything to protect yourself from a spiritual vampire. If you don't know what a spiritual vampire is, it sounds crazy, but it's actually just like, you know those people that are just like always in a bad mood or when you're around them you just feel tense and on edge, like you don't want to upset them? That's a spiritual vampire. So basically they just bring down your happy energy and are draining basically. So that's what that is. Oh, more herbs. What is this one? Colt's foot. All right, that sounds witchy to me if I've ever heard witchy stuff. Connected to the welcoming of spring, this herb is perfect for it. Embolk, Ostera, and Beltane rituals. I don't know what that is. It can be used in love spells, cast, calling money, and healing. You can read it because I have no idea what, how those words are pronounced. And this is what it looks like. Okay, this cut herb is perfect for spells, rituals, and baths. I wonder if you just like sprinkle it in your bathtub or something. I'm gonna have to like look up some spells and stuff to try all this stuff out. 
But, all right, next item. Feels like more herbs. Oh, that looks freaking good. This is mullein spices, mullein spices. Contains cinnamon, orange peel, allspice, and cloves. Properties, winter magic, success, and abundance, romance, and happiness. Instructions, simmer two tablespoons per gallon of cider or wine for 30 to 45 minutes. Strain before serving. Can also be used in oil blends to top candles, in bath spells, or as an herbal incense. Okay, I'm excited to try this. This looks actually yummy. Oh, so yummy. Oh, it smells really good too. I'm get, definitely gonna try some of that in a drink and see how it is. Okay, we literally only have two items left. Let's go for this, another little baggie. What is in here? Oh, I ripped it. Whoa. Oh. Is this even a real stone? I don't know what this is. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys in a second. This is insane. Goldstone. Goldstone is said to be connected to ambition and a positive state of mind. It pushes you towards what you need to do in life. It is believed to help with overall happiness and joy. Goldstone is also believed to help with ar arthritis. Okay, look at this stone. Do you, hopefully you guys can see all this glitter in it. That's crazy. I've never seen a stone like this. It literally looks like man-made or like manufactured. That's wild. Okay, we literally have one item left already. Oh, is this more Palo Santo? We gold rain incense cones. I have never heard of this ever. All right, let's, let's open it up, see what it is. <laughs> it's so strong, oh my god. See, it's just like little cones like that. Huh. I don't know what this is used for. I mean, it smells pretty good. It's just such a strong scent. I was not expecting that. Okay, that's literally everything in the box, but let's see what it says about the gold rain incense cones. Make it rain. <laughs> Make it rain with prosperity and success with these incense cones formulated for money magic. Use in spells, meditations, or while working on personal finances to get a better idea how to proceed successfully. The smoke from these can help clear out negative energy and money and allow you to start fresh and new. Each pack contains 10 incense cones and a metal burner. Alright, that's pretty cool. I'll try it out and see if I get a bunch of money after or not. Imagine if I burn it and all of a sudden I get a bunch of money. That would be actually insane. All right, well, it looks like that is everything in the witchcraft mystery box number two that I completely forgot I ordered and hopefully there's nothing else coming in the mail that I forgot about, but I think that's it. Just like in my last video like this, leave a comment down below if you guys wanna see me trying all this stuff out or like doing a spell with it or just using it all. And I will research and see what I can come up with so yeah, comment that down below if you want to see me do that in a video. Also, let me know if you guys enjoy these unboxing videos. They're always actually a lot of fun for me. I love stuff like that. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do that and turn on all post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And don't forget to check me out on all my social medias. They're linked right down there. I post every single day on TikTok and Instagram. So go check it out and give me a follow if you can. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.